All right, we are recording. Let's begin. So here, I believe this is where we left off because I remember last time um, we finished the sketching. So for these questions, we just have to write it in exponential form. Not too difficult. Um, so this is 3 power 4 equals 81. 3 power 4 equals 81. This one here is 8 power a third equals 2. This one here is 5 power 0 equals 1. This one here is 5 squared equals 25. Now, most of the time when you don't state the base, it means base E. But it could also mean base 10 and base 2, depending on the, the subject. So, um, here, this book is using log with no base to mean 10 and ln is used to mean e so this is 10 power minus 1 equals 0 0.1 this one here this is base e so this is saying e power minus a true a third e power minus 3 equals 1 over e cubed this one here is 9 power 0 0.5 equals 3 and this one is e power 0 equals 1 Okay, let's uh, clear this up, and then let's see what's up next. For the following exercise, write the equation in the equivalent log form. Okay, so this is the opposite way now, so to speak. Let's copy these over. Okay. You know what? I could have checked the answers previously. I, I don't feel a huge need to. Everything should be should be okay with that. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Anyways, um, sorry. Let's get the next view. Okay. All right. Um, now we have to write it in, in log form. So this is log base 2, 8 equals 3. 2 to what power makes 8? The answer is 3. So it's this and this go on the log. And the answer is the power, 3. So this would be log base 4 of 1 16th equals minus 2. This is log base 10 of 100 equals 2. Log base 9 of 1 equals 0. Log base a third of a 27th equals 3. Um, log base 64 of 4 equals a third log base e of y equals x log base 9 of 150 equals y and log base b of 45 equals 3 and finally log base 4 of 0 0.125 equals minus 3 over 2. Let's um, check these answers here. Um, I've got 255, which is correct. I've got 257, which is correct. I've got 259, which is correct. I've got 261, which is correct. And um, I've got 263, which is also correct. So we're doing okay with those ones. Um, I've still got sound. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, domain range and vertical asymptote. Okay. Some log graphs now.
Okay, let's clear this out. Okay, for the following exercise, sketch the graph um, of the log function, determine the domain and range and vertical asymptote. Let's get a, a simple x, y axis going here. Okay. So, 264. Uh, determine the domain. So the domain, well, that's all reals uh, from zero onwards, not including zero. So all the non, all the non-negative, non-zero reals, because you can't take log of zero or negative. Um, because what will happen is at zero we get the uh, vertical asymptote. So that's like here. And then, um, oh yes, the range. Well, log goes all the way to infinity and all the way to minus infinity. So it's all the reals. Uh, so th the graph is like this. Um, and it crosses the axis. When log x equals minus uh, three so that's when x equals e to the minus three that's where i will cross the axis because log of e minus three is minus three but i'm not sure if that's included because it doesn't say to list the, the the zeros or the roots so i'm not sure and i don't have the answer for 264 i do have the answer for 265 so um obviously theirs is much nicer but uh, anyways, let's continue. So now 265. So the asymptote is at one. The domain is all numbers from one to infinity. And the range is all uh, reals. And the asymptote is at like one, so we can just mark it off here. And the graph would uh would would shoot up like this. Okay. All right. Next now, two sixty six. Oh yeah, I could have checked that one. Uh, one to infinity minus infinity to infinity and one. Yeah. So here, again, the asymptote is at zero. The domain is from um, minus infinity to zero. And the range is all real numbers. The asymptote is here. But this time, because the minus, the graph is like flipped, uh, it's flipped around. Okay. Two sixty-seven, asymptote is at zero. The domain is all the positives again, and the range is all reals. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be like this again. And I do have that answer. Zero, zero to infinity, and all reals. And um, oh. Oh my, uh, it's minus log x. So it's actually, apologies, it's actually um, upside down. Um, yeah. So it's coming down instead of going up because the minus. Yeah, okay, got to be a little careful. Then catch the minus on the front there. Uh, 268. 268. So the asymptote's at zero. The domain 
is 0 to infinity and the range is all reals uh, it's positive this time um again like this with the asymptote at zero and if you want to know where the root is it's when um this would be one so i guess this would be at 10 because log 10 is one so um that's not in the the book though but i can do the last one it is so asymptote at minus one the main is minus one to infinity range is all the reals and then at minus one there's that asymptote so the graph will be going like this and um well i could probably do that a little bit better um for example when x is zero this would become log one which is zero so actually i know that it passes through the origin uh yeah and that matches up with the graph in the book then okay uh let's have a look now for the following exercise use properties of logs to write the expression as a sum different and or product of logs so so in other words simplify these okay let's have a look at those Yeah, okay, my sound cut out there. Okay, my sound cut out there for a second, just hopefully at the very end there. So I think rather than tempt fate, recording with possibly the mic going out, um, I'll just leave it there. I don't know why this is happening. Um, I'm using a powered usb hub but maybe it's a bit temperamental and not quite stable so i think i'll just uh wrap it up there for today uh yeah 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 i'll wrap it up there for today so thanks for watching uh any problems let me know in the comments and i'll see you next time